Is Kesha seeing UFOs or tripping on hardcore drugs? Let's keep this conversation going. I don't know what that was, but hey guys, and welcome back to Quarter Talks. It's 2017 and Kesha has made her way back to the music industry. Who knew that would happen? But you guys probably remember her from a couple years ago. I was probably like 10 at the time when she was playing songs like this. So the part that I know is that she started doing hardcore drugs and even her music a long time ago she used to talk about doing drugs and she used to say maybe I need some rehab or maybe I just need some sleep but she really did need rehab and so I'm not sure if she went to rehab or if she didn't but I'm pretty sure she just kind of did like a Miley Cyrus thing where she just like went off the edge she was like dead to the world she just did her own thing away from family and friends and she was just doing drugs so now she came back and she is saying that her new album, which yeah, she came out with a new album, her new album is featuring UFOs, UFOs that she apparently seen in the desert. But the two main songs that I'm going to be talking about today is Prayer and Spaceships. So these are the featured songs, especially Prayer. So when she's talking about her album, she talks a lot about Prayer. Now I haven't seen the video yet and I haven't even heard the song. So today I'm going to be reviewing the song and listening to it with you guys. And I'm not going to listen to the whole song, obviously it's going to be too long, but I'll just insert the clips where I'm like reacting. Okay. Kesha came out about this incident or experience, whatever you guys want to call it, on the exact same show. She was interviewed on this show and she was asked about the inspiration behind her album. And this is where she said, I saw some UFOs. She just had something like pop in her mind and she's like, yeah, I'm gonna make an album about that. In the interview, she also said that she was just in the desert, which is kind of weird. But she was in the desert and she was just sitting on a rock and something told her to look up. So when she looked up, she saw a UFO. But keep in mind, she was completely sober. Yet she saw like five to seven UFOs. Five to seven? What? So she also claims that when they did come, they came in a certain formation, so let's say a triangle, and then it would leave, and then it would come back in a different formation, so like a straight line, like, that's crazy, and personally, I guess you can say I believe in UFOs, now keep in mind, UFOs stand for unidentified foreign objects, so it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like oh my god aliens oh my god this that it's just a foreign object in the sky that we don't really know what it is so it could have been a ufo i mean it makes sense it's something in the sky that she doesn't know what it is so it's a ufo Asha actually described it as bright balls in the sky so you never know it could just been like um like asteroids during the daytime it could have been anything. We don't know. And she said that she was just so in awe that she didn't think to take a picture of it. So this interview has gone viral. It's going everywhere. Facebook, Instagram. It's on radio shows. It's going crazy. Everybody's talking about it. So everybody has mixed emotions for this. They're either thinking Kesha's like on drugs and she's just going crazy and she's just hallucinating. Or some people think like, oh, maybe this is a way for her to um, to talk about her her album. So, what is this just a way for her to announce her album or get everybody to listen to her album or even just look at it? Or is she tripping on hardcore drugs? Now, sorry guys, I cannot answer that question today because I currently do not have Kesha sitting right beside me. But I think it's safe to say that it might just be the drugs. She might just be lying about being completely sober or I don't know guys. But I think this is just a way for her to get attention towards her new album, like I said before. Now I'm going to watch the video of Kesha.
rare. Alright, so I'm going to be looking this way at my MacBook and I realized that this song is actually not called Prayer, it's called Praying. Same thing, but let's go. Now, first reaction. I'm seeing these two animals standing there with like the cross and I feel like this video is going to be very satanic and I hope it's not. I don't know, but let's see. I mean, it's a pretty cool room. Like, the walls are painted and stuff. This is one of those dreams. Yeah, I think it is a dream, Kesha. It's horrible dreams. That's disgusting. It seemed like they last forever. It was a god or whatever. Something. Okay, so Kesha did not believe in God. Why have I been abandoned by everyone and everything I've ever known? I've ever loved? Stranded. Okay, so Kesha seems very what depressed. What is the point? Uh, okay, but I can say that Kesha's actually a good singer. I used to listen to her when I was younger. And I can thank you for how strong I have become. Yeah, she's, she's, she's pretty good. And she's not a bad singer. Can I pause this for a second? So I'm very confused. How is Kesha... I don't want to explain it. She started off by saying, like, like what, um, whatever she said. Don't quote me on this, but something about, um, if there is a god... Blah, 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 blah. So like I said, it doesn't seem like she's religious. Now she's saying, like, in the video it said, um, God is love, and like you can see her like holding her hands together while she's praying on her knees. Like, which one is it? Are you religious? Are you not? Do you believe in God? Do you actually pray? Like, what's happening? This feels very two-sided. Like, she can't choose one. So which one is it? So I'm gonna assume when she's speaking in like how to explain it. The way she's speaking is like she's saying, I hope you're praying. I hope your soul is this. I hope you're that. I hope you're this. But I feel like she's talking about herself. So uh, that's kind of weird. Like I don't know why she doesn't just talk about like herself, make it known that she's talking about herself. Why is she saying why is she saying you, 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 but I don't know. The beginning. The beginning of what? Is she walking on water? She was walking on. Guys, I have to rewind that. This girl's walking on water. Who does she think she is? Did this girl just compare herself to Jesus? I'm confused. I'm confused and that is kind of disgusting. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to conclude that Kesha is going crazy. Um, I don't know, maybe she's... It can go two ways. She's she, Yes, she is getting better than the way she was before, but she's also still crazy. It's just a different kind of level of crazy. So, like... She really thinks this is true that she saw the UFOs. Like she even went as far as going on Instagram and she was um, wearing like this UFO T-shirt, and she's quoted by saying, "UFOs are real. I have, I have seen them. Not playing." Okay, Kesha. Totally. Yeah. But guess what? I also have a. Uh, I don't know, a balloon beside me right now. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah. While well, we tie her up and put her into a mental hospital. Okay. Oh, she even said that she is evolving as a person and as an artist in a recent interview. So, for my opinion on that, I feel like she is a different person. She's a lot different in this video than in, for example, her TikTok video. Um, I feel like she might be more mature now and she's more sure of what she wants to do in her music career and 
she's sure of herself and I feel like she's had some time to reflect on herself and get back in touch with her inner self and that's very important guys like mental health is serious I'm happy that she decided to get some help I believe she got some help and she just took time for herself to calm down a little bit so that is it for today's video um, Cash was coming out with her video with her album on August 11th so check that out maybe we'll see more of these reaction videos from me for some of her other songs because like she said in this video she said it's the beginning so I hope you guys like this video and make sure you guys give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell icon to be notified of my next video check out my most recent vlogs and I will see you guys next time on quarter talks I'm only human, can't you say I'm mad?